All right, so, Miss, I can't help it. Feel the burn. <laughs> Thank you all very much for inviting me to be with you today. Uh, unfortunately, a scheduling conflict prevents me from being at the forum. Uh, but let me say that, in my view, the United States of America owes an enormous debt of gratitude to you that will never, ever be able to be repaid. As all of you know, treaty after treaty has been broken. Promise after promise to the Native American community has not been kept. Vicious and unspeakable crimes against humanity have been committed against Native Americans. And today it gives me no pleasure to tell you that Indian country is facing a crisis and it is a crisis that is not a force of nature. It is a crisis created by the policies we have put in place and that continue to get worse. To me, the answer to these problems is summed up in four words. Sovereignty, justice, opportunity, and dignity. Many of you have heard me talking about these solutions four years ago, so they are not new to you or to me. But that is because the very serious problems your communities are facing have gotten worse, not better. For a start, the federal government must protect Native American cultures and honor the treaties and statutes that are at the core of the trust relationship. Tribal communities must be empowered by providing resources to protect and revitalize indigenous languages, religions, cultures, and traditions. We need to protect the sacred places of Native Americans and restore lost tribal lands. And we must make sure that Washington is never acting on tribal matters without full consultation and consent from the Native American community. And we need to make sure that Native Americans are represented in the highest levels of government. An administration that does not look like America cannot represent America. We are going to attack, among many other issues, the wealth gap that is plaguing Native American communities. Medicare for all. Health care is a human right. We're going to fight for a $15 an hour minimum wage and much, much bigger investments in K through 12 education in low-income communities, which will mean substantial investments in Indian country. We are going to expand voting rights in this country to make it easier for people to vote, not harder, so that the full power of your community is felt at the ballot box. I have introduced legislation in Congress to repeal federal land transfers that have allowed energy companies to desecrate tribal lands. I have opposed the Dakota Access Pipeline and stood in solidarity with protesters at Standing Rock. As president, I will make sure we are expanding protections for tribal lands, whether oil companies and frackers like it or not. We need to make sure we respect tribal sovereignty. Tribes need increased control over tribal housing programs and we need a major investment in Native American housing. We also need real criminal justice reform. I recently introduced the most comprehensive plan to do exactly that. Our goal is to end racial profiling and end the culture of fear that too often defines the relationship between communities and local police forces. We want to put in place new rules to encourage police departments to de-escalate situations rather than escalate them into violent conflicts. And when it comes to criminal justice reform in Indian country, we need to make sure that tribal nations can prosecute criminal offenders for violent crimes that occur within tribal borders themselves. Tribal governments are distinct sovereigns and should be recognized as such. They must have the authority and autonomy to protect their own people. 
But before we can do all of that, we must defeat Donald Trump, the most dangerous president in the modern history of this country. Like so many demagogues, Trump is trying to divide us up, and we cannot allow him to do that. We must come together, black and white, Latino, Native American, and Asian American, and build a grassroots movement to defeat him. And when we do that, we can begin to create the environment where Indian country can flourish, and that is, as I said at the beginning, sovereignty, justice, opportunity, and dignity. Thank you all very much for the great work you're doing. Look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.